But unfortunately, he pushes himself too hard during this training montage uh, and discovers that he has the plain athlete equivalent of a fucked up ankle. Jesus Christ. I just, I I have, I have that on tap. You might have slipped. (laughs) Skipper gets him home, right? Uh, And then he goes to the plane doctor. Mm -hmm. And the plane doctor is a forklift. She's a mechanic, I guess. Um, And and she's, she's working on him, right? She tells him that he has become physically disabled, and he can't race anymore because his gearbox is like they don't make them anymore. Yeah, because he's an old fucking crop duster plate. Like, yeah, they wouldn't make spare parts for this guy. No, they they can't fix him, and so therefore uh, he can't like push himself to his limits anymore. And she installs a warning light in him. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. So that any time he's about to like redline his 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 gearbox, it starts beeping at him, and he has to ease off, otherwise he'll die. Um, and he's of course very depressed by this. This is yeah. like what what we would think of as like a life changing injury. To and again, I cannot stress enough that these are planes. This is a this is a cartoon plane. Yeah, but that's <laughs> it. It is worth noting that every so often. <laughs> Because we're talking about this just, guy receiving, just in case you, yeah. His his racing career is over because he's received word he has an absolutely ir- like unhealable, mm-hmm. unfixable injury, and it's heartbreaking to him. Also, he is a plane. <laughs> yes, he's being told this by a forklift. If you push yourself but into no, the red, no, your gearbox no, no, will fail, Donnie, and then your engine no, will the, seize. Maybe the test that you did Dusty, was wrong. Listen, but I, I, I've got a race coming You'll up. You'll crash. You push yourself into the red. You'll crash. Look, I'm going to install a warning light on your panel. A warning light? If it comes on, you'll need to pull power. Slow down. But Dottie, you're, you're saying I, I can't race anymore. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I love the use of forklifts in these fucking movies so much because they're such a crutch. It's like oh, every yeah, time absolutely. you need it's someone like, to be we, able we to something do something, arms. they're like, yeah. oh fuck, put a forklift in. We, we don't have a forklift in here. And he thinks, oh, wait a second, what if I be the, What if I become the second firefighter, right? What mm-hmm. if I go and I get trained and I get certified to do this? Um, it's and, not like he has anything else out. going on. No, so. no, because like I, he's he's been like he he's suffered from life changing injuries. He can't do the the racing anymore, yeah. and that's his passion. He's sort of like at a loose end, and he thinks, oh, maybe I can like you know do something else, you know, that's you know useful to people. Yeah, find um, find some meaning in uh, yeah, 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 helping people. It, it's a good lesson, all things considered. It, it it is. This movie has well, much like Spy Kids 3D. This movie has some. <laughs> Things about disability, right, that are perhaps good lessons to teach kids, and some things that are perhaps not. Um, there are, yeah, there's some things coming up that we've buried the lead on extremely hard um, that I'm excited to get to talk about yes. later on. Uh, um, and there's a bit where Dusty can't go as fast as uh, as he is supposed to do for for a specific bit of the training course, and he just gets yelled at for it. And I'm like, mm. I don't understand why you're not telling him. <laughs> you, but yeah, you he, are well, disabled. That, that like would be a HIPAA a violation. No, he refused because he's ashamed. He's ashamed of his disability, which is like, as again, as a as a, as a like storytelling thing. The the fact that it's presented like uncritically is bad, but like yeah. as as like a feature of like yeah, people are absolutely embarrassed by like disabilities or limitations, or, like asking for help or adjustments. It's just that's never made explicit. Instead, what this movie teaches you is that like if you do require any kind of like adjustments in the workplace, you must conceal your shame <laughs> until mm. the last possible moment. Um so now at this point we have to completely undercut the the like A plot about physical disability, right? Which is like Yeah. Throughout throughout this movie, right, we've been going like, you know, you can have a second career in your life. You don't have to like if if you, you know, dedicated your whole life to something and then for like reasons beyond your control you can't do it anymore. That's not like you you don't have to like give up, you don't have to like despair. You can find meaning elsewhere. You can like 
uh, go and do something else. And in some ways, that's as fulfilling. And like, you can get the like respect of your friends and coworkers uh, without having to like, uh, you you know, kill yourself over it. Um, yeah, and that's and all. Sometimes... That's all interesting, and and you know, maybe yeah. a good lesson for some kids to have. But check this out. Mm. What if instead, uh, you just fixed it? Yeah. What if you just got better? What if he just healed? Um, while he was in that coma. What if, just, what, if, what, if, what if the forklift fixed him? What, what, what if does? by completing his primary character arc, accepting his disability and learning uh, this, this new career that already helped people, uh, he is rewarded by being completely healed? I think it would be very funny if that was the way that it worked in real life, is that you had to have total sincerity that you didn't need to be healed, and that's the only way you could be. And God <laughs> is just like, ah, I got you. Got gotcha, you. bitch. <laughs> But no, like, like yeah. I was genuinely like, it is a good lesson to teach kids in a sort of sensitive way that sometimes, like, people's capacities and their abilities change, and they don't get better, and that sometimes that you know that it's not about you know like getting back to the thing that you used to do, but in like finding uh you know a, a new purpose and a new meaning, and instead they just you know sort of ditch that. Yeah, and in- instead they were just like. Okay, and now you're now you're normal again. No, you are no longer physically again. disabled. Yeah. Dot MP3. <laughs> like, yes, yes. It, and and it's fine, fine, whatever. Because it's not like he quits being a firefighter immediately thereafter. Right? He does no, become no, he, a firefighter still. Yeah, and he goes home to be the second firefighter to to Mayday, who has been like refurbished. Yeah, and, and there's shiny, and, and there's this. <laughs> yeah, fuck. May- Mayday's built as shit now. That's the other thing. You get back there and he's <laughs> yeah. insane. Yeah, th- another lesson for this. If you're old, just stop. <laughs> yeah, stop being old, bitch. Just get get normal <laughs> yeah. again. You can be <laughs> refitted, whatever. Like That's right. That's right. Yeah, age age doesn't exist. That's fine. There's no there's no major dis- <laughs> disadvantages to aging. You can just deal with that. Also, physical disability is a myth. Um mm-hmm. 